I was, Man, I was enjoying the experience. I was happy happy to escape Pueblo with my catalytic converter. <laughs> oh, no doubt. As well as as the other stops in the country, I'm sure. Yeah, when they got to like break off a certain section east St. Louis. <laughs> oh, yeah. And have it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have it on signs because you don't want other people to think that it's, West you know. Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is officially 10 o'clock at the Giant Granite Phallus in the District of Criminals. That means uh, phone lines are officially open. Oh, my goodness. Somebody else uh, is looking to get in on the party line. Of course, it's uh, the DJ Hyona himself. Uh, It is open lines. It is your chance to be a part of Liberty Radio. Call in. Let us know what is on your mind tonight. You do not have to turn on your camera, but please, please turn on your microphone so that we can hear you. And uh, the link is, of course, in the Liberty Radio channel. That is where you can always find it. Uh, Rob, you were you were first on the hook tonight. So uh, what's on your mind? Um, well, we've got a week until uh, this phony selection. Less than a week. We've got days from our phony selection. And I was wondering, you know, how you guys feel. I've heard all kinds of ideas from people. Some people think there's going to be massive unrest, no matter which way it goes. Um, Some people are predicting like the breaking apart of the country into some phony civil war. And uh, others think it's going to be uneventful. And the the hijinks are going to come later after the gravity of it all sets in. Hmm. And and on the other and another point, like who do you think has been selected? I mean, I have my opinion. I think that's the better um, question, quite honestly, because um, I think there's going to be shenanigans. I think there's going to be hijinks. Um, I think there's going to be you know just general tomfoolery on the fifth. And that's, that's going to be very entertaining, especially for the social ghettos. They're, they're going to just be all over that shit. Um, well, after we had our most secure election ever in the last term for president, 81 million votes, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to be so entertained. I mean, my, my prediction is Trump is the selection and, uh, there's a lot of reasons why he's going to be the selection. But when, you know, all the things that they're popping up now, as far as people setting ballot boxes on drop boxes on fire and oh, yeah. just, um, you know, Trump person thrown out of polling station for harassing voters. Like, did that like happen? An, an, yeah, it happened somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw like the, the old grandma that they made take her shirt off. Cause it was a, it was like a campaign t-shirt or whatever. So she was in there in the polling place, just like in her bra, you know, everything hanging out. Yeah. Good for her. Good for Yeah, absolutely. Good for her. Well, I, boy, I, am I, I hope glad that the people that, that made her take her shirt off night. were fucking uncomfortable. It's a good I, thing I hope that it I'm was just like I, hell for them. I, I saw I, a I guy. I bear you good tidings. I bid you good tidings, sir, because. It may have looked like over the last several weeks that the Kamala campaign was completely imploding and it may have seemed like Joe Biden was totally like, you know. Oh, you come bearing tidings from her legs and everything. Walls. But I got great news for you. Just in the last 36 hours, Kamala is surging back in the polls. It's all the way back to 52-48 and and I, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna make the it's the, a the, selection go apocalypse miracle, ladies and gentlemen. Going out on a limb here, Kamala by 88 million votes. It's the November surprise. Nobody no. saw it coming. I like the 88 million votes. That's she, that's dead she on. She has. I'm telling you, man. She's drizzle. She's been killing it the last few days. <laughs> that shit with Anderson Cooper. I used to tell the wife the same thing when she'd get home and say, "Hey." you do this and this and that and the other well i know what needs to be done but you've Mm. been here for the last four hours yeah Mm. and that's why i know fully well that's right what i'm gonna do if you give me another four hours to fucking do it yeah 
And then in another breath, I was involved in all the important decisions of the administration. That's and right. I can't think can't think of a thing I would have done differently. But I mean, they're so, gonna, they're going to have they're going to have four more years to turn it around, Rob. So it's it's all right. It's all good. It's look. I mean, Joe it, broke it, a it, lot it, of shit. Everybody knows that Joe broke a lot of shit. Everybody knows that Joe's like not there, like like literally physically not there. Like that is not Joe Biden. They've got like yeah. clones or masks or some shit. I don't know what the hell's going on, but that is not Joe Biden. Joe Biden cannot yeah. grow five midges overnight at the age of eighty one. That is not That's something great. human beings are capable of doing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. That's that, is, number, that is a, that's that's a side effect five, of the, whatever type of amphetamine they've been pumping them up with the last um, eight years or so, yeah. probably longer. It's a side effect. You grow uncontrollably when you hit like 82. I mean, you might as well just say it's a side effect of taking the top of his skull off twice, you know, because that's a <laughs> thing as well. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, I, I posited... Uh, probably almost three years ago at this point, <clears throat> maybe the second time they took the top of his skull off, they put a little fucking transmitter in there and they've just got like a little remote control, you know, and they're just driving him around the White House and shit. Yeah, I got a question for you, Drizzle and Rob and, and everyone in the audience here, okay? Um, you can either vote for Trump Vax Zionist <laughs> Or lockdown liberal Zionist. I don't like the vaccines, the lockdowns, or the Zionists. So right. which murder puppet do I get to cast the meaningless vote for then? Jill Stein. I mean, there's the uh, the United Socialist Workers Party. I mean, uh, they're looking for votes. Oh, there's that uh, that new communist party that that uh, swanky hunk Jackson Hinkle started. Are they on the ballot? I mean, That's right. He, he, he is. He is pretty dreamy. I mean, that hair. I don't know how you couldn't. Oh, you know, become a wait communist. a second! I almost <laughs> forgot. I already made my motherfucking choice. I ain't voting for fucker Carlson or Booby Kennedy, Doctor Shiva, baby. I mean, I would. I would love to see. God damn, Dr. invented Shiva email, Rob, as, as the president. I. Bro, yeah. he fucked Fran Drescher, the nanny. Who Shiva did. He's, He's a baller, yeah. man. In Damn. fact, he was more raw dog Damn. than that. He said that they got married I, at his did place. Did he say that himself? Down on fucking um, on down on Cape Cod, at his crib there. Said right. that they were married. Had a ceremony. Two years later, motherfucker comes out and says, "Oh, we weren't married. We was just fuck buddies." <laughs> I shit you not. Wow. Yeah, man. I mean, Shiva talks about politics how I would in like a non-formal setting. <laughs> but that dude does, does it right on, you know. He's well, he talks like a fucking asshole. The, Apparently uh, all those fucking presidential assholes campaign. talk like that up in Boston. Because they're wicked smart. They don't even pronounce their eyes. Let's get a rack of beers. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get a car. Get a rack of beers. They sound yeah, like uh, fucking Australians. I think they led the nation <laughs> in uh, statewide IQ scores. Yeah, go to Harvard Yard. <laughs> not even, not oh, even sure. I like them apples. Oh, yeah. It was like 104.8 or something was the average across the state. So I think the, they send the mentally challenged down to New York. <laughs> oh, yeah. thin, thin the pool out. Yeah, I'm still well, then, I'm I, still undecided it, on on my official prediction. Well, if that's although I know I have to make to it York, by the end of the show, right? I, I got a question. I, I've been Rob. going back and I've been going back and forth for a while. Have and you? Like I finally Dude, think I've been I've, I've been leaning heavy towards uh, towards Kamala for Kamala like the too. last month or so. I'm like, I don't know. I just got this well, feeling. She is surging. I just got this feeling. <laughs> yep. If they want to really uh, rile up those right-wing extremists that they call everybody who doesn't agree with our global communism that's coming. Like, that'd then, be a uh, really good way to do it, right? Yeah, that jam someone in who yeah. had no votes in a primary, yeah. who has gone up and made a fool of themselves in every interview. Like, the only time that she was coherent was when she was wearing a Bluetooth earpiece at the debate. And she came, I mean, she wasn't fully 
uh, you know, coherent, but it was the best I've ever seen her speak in a live yeah. performance. And after well, that, it wasn't her man, going off the been. rails. I don't know, man. Just, it's like every, everything that I've seen so far about her background is saying that she was groomed for this role specifically. Yeah. You know, and, and yeah, I know there's, there's a lot of things that they can get done with a Republican in office, regardless of who it is versus. Wait, 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 Democrat wait, 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 wait a second. Place. Republican. They're both fucking Democrats. Well, I, We're I, fucking these, away. These, these titles are meaningless, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's the public perception of it, right? Cause, cause now that since they've flipped things, you've got the, the Democrat is the corporate protector where when we were growing up, it was the opposite. The Republicans yeah. were for the corporations, Democrats were for the, the people. Now it's flipped, right? So yes. they, they just exchange places on, on the polar chart and then we'll do that for another 20 years or 30 years or whatever. And then they'll flip again, you know, cause, <laughs> cause people have pass. short memories. They're like goldfish. They, they don't care. But what I'm saying is, if you look at, at the way that they've actually executed the plans over the course of time, it's always one administration sets things up for the administration that follows them to come in Absolutely. and execute on it, right? So if they are actually going to go for the guns, say, after the selection is over, for whatever whatever rationale is used at the time, it doesn't really matter what it is. It makes more sense for a Republican administration to be in office because it will catch people off guard. They're going to see Democrats coming for guns a mile off. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, it's just what's the catalyst going to be? Is it going to be Kamala wins and they stir up a bunch of um, right wing people who are uh, militia focused and aren't taking it anymore? Like, I, I don't know what the uh, the next play is. Well, again, if you if if you follow the war games, right, the the um, the the projection scenarios and all of that shit, and you look at the elections that have already taken place uh, in just this year, 2024, there have been many elections, or at least the ones that have been prominently placed in the media that have gone to the right, the far right, you know, that side of the political spectrum in whatever country that it has happened in. And I want to say it was the lockstep document, but I could be wrong about it, and most likely I am. But there was a point where public opinion swayed against uh, the, the regimes that were in power. And, and across the world, it said there were sweeping changes where the exact opposite side of the spectrum was brought to power. And that's, that's what I think we've been seeing play out over the course of 2024 with all of the elections. Mexico might be the rare exception to that. We'll see. I uh, watched a Matt Errett video today where he was talking about fascism and how, you know, I think basically everybody knows the Nazis didn't uh, lose World War II. Germany did, but the Nazis Correct. didn't lose. No, the Nazis won. And he was he was highlighting from history, like all the different countries in Europe who had these big fascist movements going on at the time. Mm -hmm. Oswald Mosley over in England and, uh, you know, the the Wall France Street puts or the bankers, the bankers uh, coup. Mm -hmm. They've called it a couple of different things with Smedley Butler and all. But yeah. All, all those people, the oligarchs, as we call them, or the they, <laughs> they were all involved in that shit. Their families, oh, yeah. all the fake charities, um, and all the big corporations were all making money off of it. So, well, I think that, uh, sorry, go ahead. The sorry. fact that they evacuate, evacuated all the Nazis that they could and just moved them around the world to take up different positions and governments and NATO and what have you. Just NASA. Shows you NASA. Go ahead, Tom. Sorry. Well, I, I think whoever we get, dude, Trump or Kamala could could do could set shit off. You know what I mean? 
see, I'm looking at it like the, I'm looking at the other way. I'm thinking they're going to get Trump in. He's going to pull out the rug from all the Republicans and go Democrat on everybody. Well, and as we know, there's more fucking Trump voters than there are fucking Kamala. There's certainly I'm is. not. I'm not. I'm not hardly. I have. I've seen one Kamala Harris sign in my neighborhood, which is rare because there, there was all kinds of Biden signs everywhere. There we go. You know? Indy Indy News has has the correct answer. Nothing will fundamentally change. No, nah, it wouldn't. Um, it's just two different paths to to not technocracy. <laughs> Take your pick. Yeah. But it's well, the, the person that gets selected is going to be the one that is the most capable of moving the agenda forward. And then the single, most uh, likely handing off the baton to Gavin Newsom in 2028. So probably Trump. I don't the know that you get it. Advantage, uh, the, the single most advantageous move for the chessboard at this point is to continue to play up this complete fallacy that the Kamala Harris campaign is somehow surging in the polls and just <laughs> dominating the Trump campaign right now. I mean, it, it's the complete opposite of the fucking reality. I should point out for the record, but nonetheless, to see that they're concocting this completely outrageous baloney narrative that dark horse Kamala is coming down the stretch, and she's going to win the Kentucky Derby. She's going to get the roses. It makes more sense to me if the whole intention, if you go back to the selfie stick revolution on January the 6th of 2021 and then play it back forward to November 2024, I could totally see a replay in January of even more outraged people about we're getting stolen from again. And yeah, it's I, even I can more see it as early as next even week. More, that just seems, well, yeah, it, it, we won't have to wait till January. I mean, we, we've, but We've already seen violence as part well, that, of the election process, and we're not we're even to, to elect election day yet. So, I mean, I think it's a foregone conclusion at this point. All of well, the telegraphing of the past by the quarterback about oh my gosh, all these domestic violence extremist diseases, and and look at how all the Trumpies are Nazis and garbage diseases, and I mean they're just trying to poke and poke and cajole and antagonize and instigate, and all of this has built up in my mind to a roaring crescendo of yeah they're gonna put in fucking Kamala, yeah they're gonna make it all in your face about how crooked and rigged and just ridiculously unbelievable it is now will you make violence as against government and it's, 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 you know and that i mean definitely that's definitely crossed my mind as well that that's that, that thought has crossed everybody's mind, mind rob there. you know because yeah. it, it's all a game well, it's I all think, a fucking charade mo- well this, everybody on this, this call i think knows that was, they want violence that's the whole point. I've, like when they got, got in house, that was that was like their fucking wet dream. They want stuff like that again. <laughs> uh-huh. I've got an easy easy way to predict how it's going to go. We've contact all the uh, brick manufacturers and find out how many advance orders they have being uh, shipped out to the different cities around. You know what cities are going to go? Yeah, yeah. Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I'm pretty is, sure some shit's going to jump some, off here in Oregon. Think, considering yeah. they were the ones burning in the fucking ballot fucking boxes here. Yeah, there's a substantial yeah. amount of brick orders, and you're going to say Trump wins if there's not the you're brick orders and Kamala wins the will to kill babies <laughs> and the stupidity of voters like women are I turning mean, out more than men this time around i mean what do you well, think rbl am i wrong in saying that at least half of the eligible american electorate has already checked out of politics completely politically marooned and it's just taboo. not interested anymore you, can, you may not have, you may not you may not talk about politics or religion. 
Well, that's and, that's and part of the problem like, with having like, having a fucking society who operates on a fucking sixth graders level where you can't have adult conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's taboo, yeah, right. and like if you have a difference of opinion with somebody, that makes you that are yeah you know, an enemy somehow for some fake fucking public figure who doesn't give a fuck about anybody. So that sounds it's been a frustration. Nice. Love and light. <laughs> like, all these well, new age I, I, uh, I went on like, like crazy stuff. I went on Facebook uh, for some fucking reason. I hadn't been on there for weeks and weeks. Well, over oh, well, my condolences. Three, but... <laughs> I, I want to check on Anna and so Mamo. Your and suspension's up. You're saying <laughs> double ARP homies out there on Facebook, and uh, and you know, I, I, a lot of my uh, high school classmates, and day one homies, was on there, and they're all like fucking. Like one of them was like this thing about um, Trump is a Nazi, and you know, and I'm like, oh man. So I was like, dude, they're both Nazis. There, I'll agree with you. Yeah, okay, yeah, Trump's a Nazi. So is Kamala. Well, one's a Nazi, Ashley one's Page. a fascist. You you choose. It doesn't well, matter I mean, which is know, which, really. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Oh, you're right. Banana, nanner. You know, same yeah. thing, huh? I mean, it's it's like well, I, one's a psychopath and the other one's a sociopath. So and so yeah, I just pretty fun. much gave Figure them the out. Morpheus pose from hmm. the Matrix with a black pill in both fucking hands, and yet they're both shit birds. Wake the fuck up! It's yeah, it's wrestling, no yeah. response to that, and and yeah, he's just posting more of that shit. And I'm like, it's fucking NPC, like where you've just completely huh? been. I mean, reprogrammed, like. Well, I was getting into a gerrymander last night, the four yeah, yeah, argument yeah. for the elimination of screen time, we'll call it. Because mm -hmm. most people are now tuned into screen time and you can, well, you think that you can edit it more and more, but whatever you're scrolling through on a feed, whether you're on a Facebook or a, a Dick Doc or whatever the fuck it is, you know, it, it's not. Oh, it, it's me. them reprogramming you. Thank you know, you. it's, it's so anyway. <laughs> I was reading an article before I got on air about the uh, the Trump talking about Liz Cheney, how she is a war hawk, and that how would she feel with nine guns pointed at her? And the liberal pundits tried to turn it into he was talking about putting her in front of a firing squad, and that's what tyrants do. And the guy, it was a CNN guy who had like started the well, whole. I mean, that's what thing. you do with like, war criminals. And it's right? just that's like, what her dad does with human beings. I mean, don't go pheasant hunting with Dick Cheney, is my advice. Now, bear in mind, yeah, you might no, get no, shot no, no. in the face. Yeah. Bear in mind, we're talking it about not the be same shot piece this of time. shit. This is and the don't... very same lying cunt bunny piece of shit, fucking Hobbs in Arizona that we're talking about. The one that steals and, elections. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the government. Else. And, and and more style yeah. advice is don't do any business deals with the Clinton because you may all of a sudden feel like taking your own life. Right. By hanging yourself and shooting yourself in the chest with and a shooting shotgun. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we're, uh, that, we're you know, your... He was Mark Middleton was multi-talented. That's why he, he worked in you, the White House. You know, that that's how you know if I killed myself, if I shot myself twice in the back of the head. Yeah. I mean, you know, I they're, they're, they're clear, really spinning like, their not, wheel. I'm not an aficionado of Arkansas side at all. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing. So, like, if you see something like that happen to me, you know somebody else did it. You know, it's funny. The first time I ever read anything about, you know, Mina, Arkansas, was some High Times article back in sometime in the 90s. I and remember it, reading that article. That's it, what it, it was wrote, a. Dude. It, and yeah, and like yeah. when the, the story became more developed, I read that article. it was. Like exactly what was in the high times, some place that nobody would, you know, take any stock in it. You know, some marijuana magazine doing real reporting. But shit, man. And Mina, Arkansas is the middle of fucking nowhere, by the way. Completely yeah, in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's a great HBO place for CIA air trips. <laughs> did um, an original movie. Dennis Hopper starred in it back in, I don't know, 87, 88, 89, maybe 90, 1990 or 91. Maybe that late, um, where Dennis Hopper played Barry Seal, and it was it was like the the whole story. They I don't specifically remember them referencing uh, Bill Clinton anywhere in that movie. 
because because this was before Clinton became president that they put this movie out. People can go and find it. It should still be out there. It's called Double Crossed, but it's the story of Barry Seal. Wow. So, I mean, they uh... were floating that shit out there as early as then. You know, Drizzle, that uh, truck stop that you have on your um, thumbnail and your background all the time. That's yeah, Exit 44. 30 yeah. in uh, uh, Arkansas. That's in Arkansas. Um, that's correct. That's actually uh, just about some about 25, 30 miles from Hope, Arkansas. That is correct. The hometown of William Jefferson Bubba Clinton. That is correct. Fun fact. Anyways, I, I remember driving by Hope <laughs> on my way to Acapulco. Yeah, isn't that where his uh, son lives? There's no hope guy? for Hope, Arkansas. I'm I'm sorry, it's all lost. He has anyway. a son. I was what? Uh, he has a black son. No it, illegitimate shit. that he doesn't claim. Yeah. Oh wow, guy's been all that. over trying to tell the world about it. I yeah. thought he was gay. No, he's he's a woman toucher, as far as I know. Huh. Bill Clinton? Who, Clinton? Bill Clinton? No, 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 dude. Doctor, man, what's he doing at Little St. James Island all the time? Yeah, that's, that's he was know. going after the little boys on Epstein Island. All the girls that were there said he didn't fuck with any of the girls, that he only went for the boys when yeah. he was there. That's wow. what I remember hearing, yeah. Which is why the whole See, Monica that's what Lewinsky people thing don't understand about this wow. shit. Wow, so yeah. Bill Clinton's like a Catholic priest type. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> See, we, this we, we falls into him, the bloodline uh, shit here. Father Clinton, yeah. then. Well, he was oh, also that, that, he was also adopted. That he's, that he's speech not a where Clinton. That 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 speech where he's up there, Clinton, just like last couple of years, he's up there talking about, and no one can deny, and somebody screams out, "You're a rapist!" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. and he almost lost his hey. shit. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, like, yeah, like I'm about to have you killed. He probably did. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah. yeah. All right, so Boy, far this episode dude. is good for YouTube. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's see how it progresses. <laughs> <laughs> things get dark. Shit, I'm, I'm things hitting, get dark. I'm, when it gets I'm gonna hit the fucking vape stick again. It's so generally when you speak about who the government's currently killing, not who former government guys killed in the past, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll just go on record as how much I love Zionists. So um, we'll make sure this episode stays up. Well, I did figure out, I think I figured <laughs> I love it this out. this season of America's Top Zionist. Nice. <laughs> I, I think I figured it out uh, what got the, uh, the one episode taken down. Um, and don't take this the wrong way, RBL, because uh, it's, mm. it's going to sound accusatory, but it's not. I've had to I've had to think through it on my own because YouTube gave me just fucking nothing to go on. Mm. It was the story from Japan about the shots causing um, adverse events, especially with the heart. Mm. And they had found a direct link right. through that study. That wasn't what got it struck. What got it struck was the fact that the article was shown on the screen while we were talking right. about it. So we were directly sourcing the material as we were talking about it. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, uh, I mean, like, like, uh, there were other things in that episode that were kind of spicy, but it, if I could point to any one thing, it was probably that. So again, everyone yeah. listening, everyone that does this, you know, make note did of they, that. Did, if YouTube's looking for something, that's did easy. Did they strike for them. it for medical misinformation, or did they just yes. give it some blanket? They struck it for medical okay. misinformation, which is for the sure. same <laughs> thing that they said they struck the Jamie Deluxe interview for and removed it, but they didn't do either of those things. Oh, you so. could talk about all the nonsensical mainstream treatments all you want, and they'll keep you on. So, if there's Earth's a bunch flat, of why is it YouTube so hard shows. to see Bigfoot? Because <laughs> he might be a shapeshifter. Oh. Hmm. Well, I uh, I have the uh, 
if you want to take a gander right quick, I've got the sample ballots pulled up. Uh, oh, just good Lord, man. Area this, sounds, this sounds like election interference to me. I'm going to... It does a little bit. That's all right. This will definitely get the uh, the episode banned from YouTube. Let's check it out. I heard what you said, and I, I know exactly what to do to get this banned. We'll share actual fucking Fuck information. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking um, so, about. Dude, the view count just jumped. Uh, so he knows what he's doing. So the sample ballot for, uh, and that's pronounced Cabell County, not Cabell or however the fuck <laughs> else you were saying it. Cabell County, West Virginia. Right. Stop saying it wrong. Yeah. Um, and on the national ticket here, uh, look who it is from Katona. Yes. Yona notes the Katona. Booby Kennedy. Hmm. With Nicole Shanahan, whoever the fuck that is. Oh, uh, she's a um, CIA got, asset. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. Um, I mean, I'd like I to be her Nick friend. Minaj she's got millions of dollars that she gives away. Nick, Nicki Minaj a trois, but the That's actually tax money, the Rob. NSA, FBI, and CIA. <laughs> so we got um, Cheeto Dick with Guy Liner. Um, we've got um, Sucks a Lot with Sucks Horsecock. Um, who the fuck is That's Mike unconfirmed. Or- there's that's a grainy video. You can't prove anything. Mike, and I wasn't. Matt, I wasn't. Well, what the, the fuck guy. kind of name is that? What is it? From Kinsel, Virginia. Who? What? Kinsale. Huh? What party is that? What is that? <laughs> Green party. Liberal, liberal, and Indians. I thought that was supposed Chase, to be Chase Oliver. Chase Oliver. Yeah, yeah. Chase Somebody Oliver here. and Mike Turmat. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. The liber- nobody's going to vote for them. No. Oh, what it's was that the, thing uh, that that uh, that that guy said in Virginia? All the governor's uh, thing there. He called that reporter something. You remember Drizzle? Uh no. Oh, shit. And I they tried to a- say it, they tried to say it was an insult for Indians or Pakistanis or something. No, uh, I don't remember. I do this all the time, folks. I think Looks it's like a for governor. Post. You'll notice that Jim Justice is not up there for governor uh, because we've got the mayor of Huntington, Steve Williams, running against the douche from Harper's Ferry, Patrick Morrissey. I mean, Harper's Ferry is full of douches. Isn't that where Tim Cast is? Yep. Bingo. Well, anyway. no, I mean, they're close to Harper's Ferry, but they're not in Harper's Ferry. Thank God. Right. Harper's Ferry is awesome, dude. I always love. Well, now there. there's the town itself and then there's the general area. Well, yeah, um, but I mean, the town itself is just fucking charming as hell. Because it's like, you know, 200 years old and all made yeah, of stone. Yeah. yeah. I never thought I'd ever hear Drizzle describe a town as charming as hell. So oh, dude. something new happened for it's, me. It's, bro. It's, like, it's magical. Bro, it's at the Forks of the Potomac, man. It's a magical yeah. place. All right, let's go yeah. over here to that one. Share this tab instead. Let's go to Ohio. What do you say? Um, uh, What was his name? Blackwell, the one that sent the 2004 Ohio votes, Chattanooga first. Um, yeah, I heard they were looking for we some about. some, bar, some ballot harvesters in your area. Yeah, yeah. Water under the bridge. It sounds like some anyway, quick cash. That would be quick um, cash. We've got Richard Duncan and Mitchell. Untraceable. Up. Who the fuck is that? There's Harris. Yeah, if shit goes Paul, sideways. Stuck you can just Paul, burn it all. Oliver, Mike Tremat. Oh, by the way, did you notice? Um, let's go, ooh, 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 go back, go back, go back. Did you notice? Let's go down here for senator, U.S. Oh. senator Jim Justice, right, running against Glenn Elliott from Wheeling for United States senator. So, who is missing from this picture? The um, Joe Motherfucking Mansion. There you go. He's bailing on a motherfucker. He's cashing out, folks. I think he uh, said he was going to retire anyway. Money. Well, and and back over here in Ohio, he's in going our to do Senate something race, else. I know that. Yeah, uh, we have got um, Sherrod Brown and Bernie Moreno, and God, I, I, who are these other fucking people? I didn't heard of them. They don't Anyways, matter. Uh, None of these people matter. The important thing is, down in this part, you can write in your own candidate for president and vice president. On this line, you write Theodore John Kaczynski. This line, you write Osama bin Laden. And then under here, right here, you say, fuck all of you fags. There you go. That's how it's done. There you go. 
Well That's done, fun. Yuna. That was a fantastic presentation. Thank we provide thank a service. Yeah, thank people for coming to your TED talk. <laughs> I would cover the Kentucky ballot, but they're fucking hillbillies over yeah, there. Yeah, doesn't well, matter. You have any? Uh, told them the ballot. They can't read all, anyway. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Is uh, actually, yeah. Let's check out the Kentucky ballot because are they voting for senators this year? Is yeah, McConnell up for re-election? Know. I think so. You got you got some McConnell. You got your Rand Paul. You got your uh, Thomas Massey. That's right. In Kentucky. Uh, everybody, populist hero, Thomas Massey. Everybody's best friend, Thomas Massey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they, what they don't right. like to mention is MIT scientist, Thomas Massey. Uh, multiple patent holder, Thomas Massey. Keep going, Driz. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Institute of Technology, Drizzles. You know, the one they call the MIT. Oh, what's that? Uh, said, MIT. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he's just a smart dude. I don't I don't I don't know what the disconnect is. He's what the only dude who's not taking money from APAC who runs our government currently. So I haven't seen him you know say what's anything wild? that would uh, make the, me the I think have his values don't align with mine mostly. Mm. <laughs> If he wasn't on, if he wasn't doing shit with APAC, dude, he wouldn't be in. He wouldn't be in office. Um, they There's ran a campaign be an against him. They yeah, they yeah. ran oh, a yeah, campaign against him. They spent, spent a lot of money, millions against him. and millions against him. So that's typically not how you celebrate your friends. No, he gets he gets a pass essentially. He gets to be the one, but he's the only one. If that was the case, he'd be in line for Speaker of the House if he was up there and going to do the same old bullshit. Because oh, yeah. well, Cynthia McKinney out. only lasted six years in office, dude, and she didn't well, put her name on that agreement. Well, I just want to point out. She got redistricted out of freaking being elected. They changed the Yeah, I know. They put a bunch, of fucking, a bunch of fucking racist fucks in her district, and she still won because she worked with them. That's why. Yeah, there's not a lot of people like that. No. There's not. She was uh, one of the only one of those people sitting there who knew what was going on, you know, asking questions about 9-11 yeah. right off the fucking bat. Mm -hmm. yeah. right, so I'd imagine Massey has to be on the ballot because he's a representative and he goes every two years. Yep. Hell of a fucking griff, too, man. Cause you can like you can you can storyboard that shit out. You can just like plan out your next two years and be like, all right, I'm done with it. I don't even have to think about it anymore. And just go and do the fucking shit and press well, flesh they, and yeah. I, I think you know throwing Chase Oliver in there for the libertarian thing was just. I think a lot of people who considered themselves Republicans who I believe think it was in the sheer duopoly, genius. Yeah, they they were going to start the you know abandoning the party because even though Trump's a fraud, he has populist ideas that most of the people in the party agree with family. You know, even though he's a serial philanderer, um, he you know, speaks of family values um, and everything that's popular to most people. They're just trying to demonize it so we can all become the collective fucking Borg of America. Submit. For it's pure joy, I hear. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I was I was about to ask Yona what's on his mind since he was uh, first after Rob, but he's gone dark. Goodness! Oh, there he is. No, I'm here. The 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 lens came out of my glass. He's never shy. Ah. Well, what's on your mind? Well, back in the day, on the Marion County, Kentucky ballot. Um, you would have found my name because I actually ran for political office one time uh, to fill the seat vacated by my late father um, as Marion County Surveyor. And you will not find Thomas Massey on this ballot uh, because really? that's a different congressional district of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Uh, gotcha. Down here, it's James Comer versus Aaron Marshall. So it's going to be James Comer again. All right. Now, what about the now senators? Let's, let's go over here. Um, let's go over to um, Lewis County. Uh, Bland. There's his tab instead. All right. Keep up. 
So we've got Mike Tremat and Guy Liner and Horse Balls. And uh, we've got Jill Stein again, Boobies there, and uh, Spy Bit. Uh, oh, well, it's going to be a shoe in for Thomas Massey. Ain't nobody running against him. Oh, wow. Damn. There you go. There you go. Well, it uh, looks like uh, Massey, I, we're going to call it tonight early. Thomas Massey is going to win yeah. his race. Re yep. You heard it Wins here first. You heard it here first, folks. That's right. Remember Is he that. really running unopposed? Yep. That doesn't sound right. Yep. We have a judge in our local election running unopposed. Democrat judge. I thought that was fucked. Dude, we have that shit every fucking election here in Oregon, dude. Yeah. Really? Shit loads of fucking politicians. Nobody's. I was going to run for mayor a couple years ago because the mayor that we had for two two times, nobody ran against him. We had a and they just get in and go to Buried Millions County and write myself at his county surveyor and win that race this year because I doubt nobody's going to write in anybody for county surveyor and nobody's running. Damn, but I'm that's not a good idea. eligible to vote down there, so I would have to register as a Democrat on the day up. Obviously. Does that does that come with like a government stipend? Does that come with a title? No, oh. they don't pay shit. Oh, well, then it's not worth it. That's how it is here for the mayor. The mayor doesn't yeah. get paid. Doesn't get paid. Just gets nope. the authority of walking down the street. As there the is. If that, oh, if dude, that he's, title he's paid any money, sure. there'd be people Of course running. they are. Yeah. <laughs> my my freaking town, the mayor here years ago, was uh, doing a pay-to-play with contractors. They had to pay like $500 to set up a meeting with him so that they could get their <laughs> permits. And uh, the FBI investigated them. And like he disappeared for like four years, and next thing you know, he was running for mayor as an independent because the Democrats in town threw him out. <laughs> but he was shady as fuck. He had like two of his sons get jobs with the police department, even though there was a nepotism clause in the the, the town statures and all. It was just. He had like three or four properties that didn't have the certificate of occupancy, so they didn't have to pay taxes because they weren't technically Shit, you know, I registered. Want that. Yeah, exactly. You know, Rob, I, I miss the old days. I really miss the old days when they would discuss real issues and talk about platforms and what they're going to do in office and everything else. They used to at least put forward some effort. And this round, it's just pretty much like, fuck you. It's a no kiss on the ear, oh. no dinner, no movie, no yawn, and then a back rub, and then make out. Just nah. pretty much zippers down, suck it. That's right. Take it. And this is Kamala, too. <laughs> yeah. 88 million votes. You mad yet? You mad yet? Garbage boys? You mad yet? Poke, poke, poke. Dude, if you, so, thought, I mean, if you so. thought Joe Biden was the wrecking ball, man, <laughs> you are not going to see this coming. Yeah. She the was border czar. Policy against impeachment because she's that. You know? I don't know. It uh, doesn't bode well for any of our chances when the government is that corrupt that the dude who's on video camera talking about how he uh, did a quid pro quo with the Ukrainian you know, government to get the prosecutor fired. It was Never did prosecuting his that. son. And then, you know, Trump's phone call that was overheard by people uh, got him impeached. Like, that's that's crazy shit right there. Oh, you but know, Putin's going to throw the election. Yeah, well, you or know, Iran somebody put or China. somebody put some memes. Somebody somebody put some memes on Facebook, and that's how Trump won the election. Didn't you hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, well, that guy's in prison now, Russia so he's not going to be able to vote Facebook this year. Itself. They got Ryan, new that, that guy was uh, that that guy was different. He he made some meme that was clearly you know a joke and said something about you know vote on you know a different day than the election day and. uh that was voter interference. It's it's crazy, you man. Know, I, I got to say, I kept holding out hope that the clown shit would be so over the top. The ooga would be so blaring in everyone's ears that most would just finally wake up and say, 
man, this is some clown shit. But instead, they're they're they're, they're, they're just up, turning man. into throngs of fucking juggalos like it's an ICP concert, man. No, it's God it's, damn it, it's, Grizzle. It's, it's a WWE <laughs> event, man. Fuck, it, it, man. It's, it's They're fucking absurd. Like they, they usually, know, like they usually, they usually get on there dude. and they fucking lie to us about all the bullshit they say they're gonna do. She hasn't even fucking lied about anything. I know she. Do. We, we can't she even get even that much you. respect. You can't even get fucking anything out of her. What she's gonna do? Well, then Trump. people won't be disappointed. Talking in they circles. Keep saying yeah. joy, but... I mean, you have a point, Tom. I think the joy is it stands for jerk off instructions. You know. Wait, 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 wait. I'm here. Her campaign of joy. Her campaign of joy. I, I mean, I mean it seems like it's been a campaign of panic, but uh, what do I know? Is it considered joy when you're cannibalizing your neighbors because there's no food left? <laughs> I don't that know. That can be joyful. Yeah, you're happy to be hey, eating. Hey, Tom, I got Absolutely. the best hashtag organ you're going to find the entire <laughs> erection season, buddy. Hashtag vote more organ. <laughs> more. <laughs> Take it deeper, Marco. Grab your fucking ankles. Oh, no. Vote more, Oregon. Oh. Dude, I'm not going to lie. They really want me to vote this year. Do they want everybody? I, to I vote. swear they, they want it to look as legitimate as fucking possible. Right. Well, I'm getting it from both sides. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting well, yeah, it from that's how they like to Zen. do it. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, dude, I'm getting like I got a text today. They know that I haven't even turned my ballot in yet. The no, they're just was, guessing. He's like, hey, they're just I know guessing, this. man. I just, just haven't. I, I just haven't. I bet if you press them on it, in. Tom, like if you if you start messaging back and forth with them and you really press them on it, they'll be like, all right, just go ahead and put in another one anyway. Just, just wait till you get the uh, message. Thank you for voting, and you haven't done it yet. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, it, for those taking notes at home, um, when when Tom's getting it in both ears, whether it's Pussy Tom or Chad Tom, it's called a Menage a Tom. <laughs> Good Lord, where is that button, man? Stop right. Back in that Where's French French the car wreck man? button? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear it, but the audience did. It's fine. <laughs> Hashtag vote more Oregon. You know right. what you want. See, now that's good. You yes. can put that on a bumper sticker, and that would work. <laughs> Fuck it. Like put it on a shirt. I'll wear it. Looks like voting interference to me. <laughs> good thing Hillary's not running. Because uh, seven years from now, they'd be looking for you. That was the the dude who that meme fucking got there. Man, the there's still there. there's what four days left. There's still time to, to swap out Hillary, man. Yeah, get I mean, walls like, out of there and and put the old bitch in. I, I thought Camillary <laughs> was Hillary. Camillary is Hillary. They're one and the same. Cankle neck and cankle laugh has merged to become one. Do you John one of the look? You do know. you think Kamala is capable? Of the body count of Hillary, do you do you yeah, seriously I, believe? Well, how do that? we know she doesn't already have one? <laughs> yes. You wait. I don't wait think that the, she's. Uh, I don't think. I don't. I don't even think. I don't even think Kamala's that dumb. That's an easy way to get yourself fucking killed. Hillary is your vice president. Oh, she accidentally fell down the steps, tripped on the door. I mean, if if you don't give her any other choice. I mean, you, you look at Barack Obama and Kamala Harris, and they're both fucking Trojan horses that are actually from the Pacific. You know, one was raised in Indonesia by his stepdad, Joko Sotero, and inherited an absolute Lolo. oil fortune. He's a trust fund baby and is living on Martha Vineyard now, getting pegged by Big Mike. I'm sorry. Hashtag Big Trojan Mike. your organ. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one as we know was working at the mcdonald's speaking french up in montreal quebec all the way through high school apparently they just can't find her employment records but who the fuck cares they're both being foisted upon america as being 
African Americans from the hood and labor rights and everything. Nothing could be oh proved. Dude, did you did you hear the thing about uh, Camel's Grandma Barrel? <laughs> oh yeah. Did you hear about that? Uh huh. Yeah. I probably don't. Yeah, I watched that. that uh, that where uh, Candace oh, did yeah. the whole genealogy thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I holding watched up a Candace. picture of a woman that she wasn't even related to, and was calling yep. her Grandma Barrel. Well, her whole like sh her whole like identity is fucking fake. I know. And uh -huh. I mean, when she gets up and like, use, like uses just like, like Obama's identity is fake. Same thing. Like, that's why I compared Bill Obama and Kamala together because same thing with this fake identity. I mean, well, they you know, came from the, the same factory. Be made that Paul I mean, Marshall they're all MK Ultra born the, bred fucking same dumb story. Identity Their fucking politics. father wasn't in the picture and you know they somehow <laughs> overcame it. And the, here they are as dependable leaders for all of you. The argument the Obamas are all America. fucking clones. The the argument <laughs> can be made that Paul Marshall <laughs> Davis is actually Barack Obama's natural father. Yeah. Or biological father. Sorry, Mari Povich. Was it Frank Marshall Davis? You know who Freeman Fly is? Davis. That's it. Frank. Name Any sounds guys, familiar. Freeman Fly is an old school conspiracy dude. He was uh, right there with uh, Alex Jones when he started. He was okay. a little bit before Alex, but he's you know he's not on Alex Jones level as far as like getting paid or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're talking but, about. Yeah, he he did a, a article a couple years, a few years ago, um, about Obama and uh, his wife and two daughters, and he says that Obama's a clone of fucking Akhenaten. I've heard that. I've heard that. And, 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 and he, they from they showed, the bus that we the, um, have of Akhenaten. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That. Which isn't necessarily 100% accurate, but then I've seen, like, the supposed computer models and all that, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I can see a resemblance there. Um, you can also see that it doesn't give, it doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Really. It doesn't. <laughs> That's I mean, like, a, they, they just try to, thing they try to, to pull people, they try to pull people away from serious shit with dumb shit like that. Yeah. I mean, well, the important yeah. takeaway, the key takeaway is, when you watch the uh, film The Island of Dr. Moreau, that's not science fiction. That's a documentary. They're already doing shit. Like well, they Rob, do you know what Clonade is? Clonade? Yeah. Um, refresh my memory. Clonade is a fucking company where you can clone anything you want right yeah. now if you have the money. Clonade is the one. Okay. That they, uh, they're the ones who developed Eve. Back in 2000, I think it was. Uh, she is the is first she? clone that they've put out. You know what I'm saying? Like it came Polly the fucking sheep and then Eve the fucking woman. <clears throat> so you can go. It's online. You can look up Clonade right now and you can get anything you want cloned if you have the money. Hey, Tom. Can, yes, sir. Can you get, can you get a, a woman cloned that doesn't talk? Ooh, I don't know. You hey, fucking hit him up, dude. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe. All right, look, you know? look. I can find a cigarette, it's but science, it's Tom. It's just for science. If you give me time. For science. <laughs> for science. <laughs> oh. We gotta wow. find the Helen Keller. We're doing it for the greater good. <laughs> Nobody wants to this hear is, that shit all the time. This Tom. is actually really interesting. Imagine all the so, peace and quiet. They'll according to Wikipedia. Clonaid is an American-based human cloning organization. Yes. Registered it's as a, a company, company. Registered as a company in the Bahamas. Founded. Jeffrey, so they can get away with the cloning. You right. can't do it and here. Buddy that wanted to clone himself. Correct. So founded, did, did, did. founded in 1997. It has philosophical ties with the UFO religion, Raelism. The Which really? sees cloning the as the alien. first step in achieving immortality. Man. Yeah, and apparently on December 27th, 2002, Clonade's chief executive, Bridget Bosselier, I think is maybe how you pronounce it, claimed that a baby clone named Eve was born. Wow. 
So again, Tom Rimmer speaks weird, the truth, uh, ladies and gentlemen. All and, the then he, and then and then I know a little bit weird. about the clones. Yeah. <laughs> again, when you watch Peter Nygaard Brando had it killed the, the island of cells. Dr. Moreau, right. that is not science fiction. You're in the Bar you're in the Bahamas. It, have it with the jerk yeah. chicken. Anyway, you want a super soldier? You get something strong, like incredibly strong, like a gorilla and a, and a human, and you mix that, you put a gun in its hand, drop it out of a plane. I'm glad you just brought that up. Um, the human, uh, there was a couple, it was a couple years ago. I watched a, a video of this guy. He's a, he's a billionaire. I don't remember his name, but uh, basically, he said he could overtake take over the world with 70,000 robots. And I was like, hmm. oh, fuck, dude. You give me so, 20,000. Depends on the robots. Six foot six where you deploy them. Retards, man, and give them marine training. world right now. I think, uh, and by uh, the way, you, uh, yeah. uh, Yona, pro tip. When you're at Clonade, don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. Right. <laughs> you're going to wake up still oozing from the anus. The damn thing still won't close. Damn. It just smokes. I wonder if that's how they do it. There's Going a movie through that the anus and grab the cells that way. I mean, you got to extract DNA somehow. I mean, I'm sure there's easier. Arby, oh, what were you just going to say? There's a movie in the 80s called Parts, the Clonist Horror. It was done by Mystery Science Theater, which is why I know about it. Yep. There's also um, another movie out. I can't remember the name of it right off the top of my head. But basically, if you, it's, like, it's like a two-hour movie, but it basically goes over how they do the cloning. Well, these people were just raised for their parts and they were like having a little life in the community, like la la la. And then oh, oh, you get to leave today. Bye. I'm graduating. Oh, yeah. you, oh, you, head out there. It's yeah. sending the clowns, not sending the clones. That's a Jar Jar Pink Star Wars movie. Anyway. When I heard uh, the Bahamas and unethical medical shit, I was immediately thinking Peter Nygaard, <laughs> that he probably had something to do with it. <laughs> What up, a Nygaard? Yeah. 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 I've he always, was, I've always been fascinated by the Raelian logo. So, what do dudes like that who are clearly part of that whole sick fucking culture of people at the top? What, what gets them, uh, you know, finally charged with a crime and thrown in jail for the rest of their old life? Nothing. When the new world order takes over, all the useless idiots go away. And yeah, they're all useless idiots. Yeah, that's not them. They they are they are the people who are building the new world. Like right, the they're going to build it, and, and when they're yeah, done with they're... it, they go the fuck away. He was one of those sick no fucks. They're, they're no longer the needed. The managerial class goes away. Yes, but the people who yeah, are pulling the strings aren't going to be going anywhere. Again, they're the ones building this world. They're building it for themselves. Yeah, you know, we're not part but, of the equation either, really. No, no, I, I, I don't plan on being around for any of that, to be honest with you. But uh, I think they. Uh, we will the never area. know who's running this world. We will never know the names because there are no names. I think there I are know no some birth of certificates. Them. I think I know some of them. We know who runs. Yeah. The Let's see if they run YouTube. What, the question, the question is whether or not there's anybody that sits above these people. Those that's, are the people I'm talking about. That's kind of the about. point that I've gotten to now. Yeah. Yeah, they're like the Ra's al Ghul characters that are right. like well, in the shadows. You, also, right. you, you which, have the obvious which, people who are part of the circle. Well, here's the Maybe. thing. is It sounds kind of out there, right? Until you actually start going through like specific what we're told to believe are significant events in history and you start seeing a pattern of these like quasi invisible advisors that are beside people like Christopher Columbus and Joan of Arc and Lincoln on down the line. Right. Like you know what family he's from, right? People who have a presence at the at the time that these events happen that is not being recorded in the history. Uh huh. So, like, if what's that true, all about? Who's, who's he descended from, Tom? You're talking about Lincoln, right? Yes, he's he uh, was adopted by the Bassar family, which is probably in the top three of the thirteen families that run the show. 
You know, there's a there's a term for those uh, that you're talking about, Drizzle. They're called Pasternaks. Mm. They're never recorded. It's so, just the trainer. When, Who remembers the trainer that's keeping your mind right for Mossad? Nobody right. cares about that. Well, when the the uh, Nazis reconvened as the Bilderberg Group in the fifties, um, <laughs> a lot of the people that were part of that circle are probably the families that still have some kind of input on what's going on because that shit never ended they you know set up fucking the bolsheviks to do their experiment over there and like kill the competition basically so there wouldn't be a competition to the uh anglo-american empire it's uh it's well i mean it was always history there there was always um uh uh fuck i can't think of the word i'm looking for but there was always a desire to integrate the culture of the United States and the culture of the Soviet Union together. Like that, that was from what I can gather, that was the original dialectic that they were working with. But then when the Soviet Union just kind of collapsed, it had, they had to kind of morph it into something else. It's like, that was, that was basically the moment that the transition period began. Because again, well, if, you remember, like, uh, if you remember hearing people talking policy at the time immediately after the Soviet Union collapsed, they were saying, we have this window. So they already knew that they only had so much time to work with to try and, and get things to where they could get it managed as a dialectic again. Yeltsin was our guy. Well, I think that, the, I think the ex- the experiment failed because they saw that as a non-sustainable way to keep people in line, hmm. and they started the Chinese experiment when you know Kissinger went over there and uh, set that all up. I mean, they funded Mao back in the fucking communist revolution. Yeah. Well, I think they. Always- I, I think you're right. I think they knew by the time they were they were getting the communists set up in China, they already knew that the Soviet Union was going to fail. It was just a matter of time. And they basically just let it fucking peter itself out. Yeah. And then they had that new experiment where they still have, instead of, you know, everybody's equals, they have the people at the top, the rich people. And um, if you're lucky, you can be one of the rich people. It's just like, just like the American dream. is. Yeah. It's called communism. (laughs) The American dream is turned into, if you're one of the selected unless you're very innovative and don't get you killed for your ideas. <laughs> but, you know, there's still, there's a, still that same opportunity in China as there is here, but there's probably easier in China to come up with an idea and uh, market it and sell it because there's so much less red tape and fees and well, yeah, strong but you're arm, still, you're beholden, organized crime government. You're beholden to, to the party in order to be able to do any of that. So before you even make your first dollar, they have leverage over you. I mean, here you can still, uh, you can still, you can fly under the radar for a while, for a long while. You're describing a doctor in the United States coming out of. It's, it's, it's just slowly been happening here my whole lifetime. It's right. It's been, it's been happening. It's, but As there's still the, pockets here in the United States where you can you can get around a lot of this stuff. You sure can, and uh, developing alternative communities and um, getting together with like-minded people and coming up with your own solutions. Even even in their crazy models, they still predict. You know, after they forced mm-hmm. all the people into the cities, they'll be the outliers who didn't want to conform. There's, it's just too much space and too much uh, resources and energy to go bother people who are uh, making do on their own. So who, who knows? I mean, it depends. But, it depends on, uh, I think, how much of a, hey, a problem you present yourself as. I, I just see like a slow decline. Everybody thinks that there's going to be some big event, but I, I think that it does better for the uh, people running the show to have a more controlled collapse because Mm -hmm. in chaos, all the dumb fucking plans they have are going to go out the window. Yeah. When you start starving. I think it's it's not actually going to be a collapse. 
I don't I don't think there's yeah. there's going to be a collapse. When you start I, starving a country that still has 300 million guns, then uh, eventually they're yeah, going to come to get dicey leaders. real fast. Cuz it only More takes 72 hours for things to break down. That's you got to take into account all the guns that people haven't ever registered. That, I was talking about the registered guns. Yeah, but you're right. There's yeah. a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's more guns here than there are people. Fuck, there's probably more guns at Print, Shoot, Repeat's house than in the entire state of California. <laughs> so They can only make so many late-night freaking gun raids on people before the other armed neighbors start noticing. Yes, sir. When it gets to that point, all the neighbors will know. You know what I'm saying? So when they do show up, all the neighbors will be ready. More than likely. I live in an area with a lot of gun owners. That's what I'm that's what I mean. I live in a state with a lot of gun owners. (laughs) We don't have to worry about the immediate area. We're good for miles. This might be easier, right? I would still like like a quarter million registered hunters in a V, right? Yeah. And and there's also a saying down in Texas, um, don't mess with Texas. To find out more, fuck around. That's right. We like it when people find out. And in Texas, Virginia, Virginia um, the Mountaineers are always free. Or fuck with me, please. I'm bored and you got a party mouth. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Deliverance <laughs> is out here waiting for the boog to come in oh we got visitors <laughs> and i got tourist tags i love nope. tour season so you so what the happens legs, i'll grab the head <laughs> banjo so, intensified so, so what happens if, I ran, if iran doesn't play along with um the plan that's going on right now and they launch some big military strike you think that's all going to peter out well i saw <clears throat> I think it was as we were on the air, as a matter of fact, I saw, I think it was a post on the geopolitics and empire feed on telegram, something about the Iranian brain trust reviewing their nuclear doctrine. Mm. And I was like, well, that's interesting because that's typically only something that you have when you have nuclear weapons. Because otherwise, why? why would you have a nuclear doctrine? You know what maybe, I can't uh, understand maybe, uh, for the life Pakistan of me. Pakistan gave Iran some nukey nukes because Pakistan got nukes, and Iran and Pakistan are kind of homie told me. And at the same time, there's been a lot of sword rattling between you know saber rattling going on between India and Pakistan, which That's are both every nuclear week. powers. That's every week. They're but just they, showing their asses that's to each other. mainly that's around right. the whole issue of, you know, Srinagar and the uh, Kashmir area, which was supposed to have a vote for autonomy. But instead, um, the Modi government under the BJP in India has just pretty much annexed all of Kashmir. And the uh, standard gauge rail line that's being built from Jammu to Srinagar with the world's largest, or I'm sorry, the highest railroad bridge ever built over a running stream of water, the River Chenab Bridge. Um, I think it's like, uh, <laughs> oh, 3,500 feet tall over Jesus. the river. It's unimaginably it's high, like, almost a mile over this fucking thing. Um, <laughs> and it's got a high yeah, why, I, I, I got to interrupt you for a second. Why, why, why does Fiona have an ungodly amount of information about all the railroad <laughs> systems in the world? <laughs> well, it's, it's critical. In this regard, because it allows, with the standard gauge railroad, an actual rail line transportation link, linking Srinagar to Delhi and everything else, it completes, it consummates the fucking of Kashmir and its rape, wedding, annexation. Yeah, but that doesn't answer the question. Yeah. Why do I know this stuff? Because it's the most awesome fucking rail line project. One of the greatest engineering feats ever undertaken by mankind ever. You know, if you don't know trains. about it, you should. Yuna you know, likes that's, trains. That's, that's Look, one yeah, thing. Trump, right. Trump likes trucks, right? Yona likes trains. I, I like airplanes. I think airplanes, airplanes. are the shit. 
I mean, all you need to do is start riding that Trump train and you'll have your own golf stream before long. Nah, you never know. Honestly, <laughs> I used to like airplanes until they all started to go Boeing after they take off. Nah, well, that's, that's just the commercial ones. I, I was watching Jason uh, Burmes fucking uh, slurp on uh, Rudy Giuliani's balls the other day. Are you shitting me? Interview. I heard about was, that. I heard it was very he, uh, sloppy. God. It Very was sloppy. Oh my like, God. Was he drooling all yeah. over his sack? And Rudy was dressed up as a woman again, just like on his SNL appearance. Wow. It was really yeah. fucking gay. Well, yeah. him and Trump, dude. Do you see the pictures of him and Trump? Right. Yeah. 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 No, because they're, they're New York Democrats. Are, they're not fucking sticking Armist down each other's throats. Boss Tweed, right? Wasn't Boss Tweed the New York fucking... Anyway. I think it was. Yeah, they were talking yeah, about the Biden... Thing. The Biden crime family and having a whole lot of agreement. And then he asked him about building seven and didn't like press him for anything. Just asked him, you know. He did a Joe Rogan. Yep. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Totally. And, <laughs> uh, and and the and the answer, like he he talked about the uh city uh manager, planning manager, and the Barry Jennings. You know, hearing explosions in the buildings was Burmese's question, and he just glossed right over that and didn't of even. He did. And Burmese didn't answer, call him on it at all, did he? Not at all. He uh, at the end, Rudy said that was a great interview. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Yeah. I wonder how much you got paid for that. That was Burmese like wiping the side of his mouth. He should have said that. It was. It was on Patriot TV. So of you can course imagine it was. Of course you can't it get was. on you can't get on Patriot TV without oh being God. a fight. Fake, Do you imagine all the Patriot shit that there's gonna be for the next four years if Trump is selected? Like it's gonna be so over the top and in your face. Like it's gonna be all Patriot all the time, twenty four seven on Rumble. Is twenty five It already eight. is if you go on Gab. <laughs> I know. I know Gab is <laughs> fucking <laughs> awful. <laughs> Yeah, awful. Yes, it's like it people is. People actually dude. pay for this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I just saw Truth Social is worth more money than Twitter now, <laughs> or X. That's just because BlackRock and uh, Vanguard and State Street invested into it. So you don't think Trump's gonna win then? <laughs> I got another one for you, Tom. In, in a way, it's better for business if he doesn't. Hashtag lock on Oregon. No, it but. is much, much better for business for all of those fucking lock, ridiculous lock, lock. fake <laughs> pundits. If Trump is the winner, you know, just can, can you imagine what they'll dream up this time to try to <laughs> say about him? God, I love these puns. That's a killer I pun. See, right you know what I would like to see, though? <laughs> I would like to see Rachel Maddow stroke out on the air. Yeah. She that probably would, like, like, you that mean, like, would make out, all like, of this call? shit worth it. It really would. Who do you think starting up the fucking Russia bullshit? Her and Newland. Well, of course, of course. Yeah. Now, now, when you say stroke out, do you mean stroke out like when Ron Paul stroke out and actually went to, or like where you just go quiet like Mitch and just kind of turtle shell? Like, yes, Bruce. Mitch McConnell. Yeah. I, I want to hear noise. I like it when there's at least a noise. That's it's called a glitch. I mean, yep. or even like that that one comedian chick, Plum Glitch, you know? the one that the one that fell and smacked her head yeah, on the stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I could go for that too. That would be yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, that that that's more my life. That was I awesome. Kinda think, I kind of think God struck her down, but of course he did. God has great comedic timing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all about the timing. You know, the joke lands if you do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. So does the body. Blam. And I still have my period. Boom. That <laughs> <laughs> was quite a Because listen, God has good grammar, Tom, and he knows when to punctuate. Yeah, see, <laughs> just ask her. She <laughs> fucked around and found out, dude. <laughs> That's how you end a sentence properly. Yeah. <laughs> period. <laughs> that, yeah, that, we've seen yeah. lots of newscasters stroking out, but not, not mad. Matt Al, that's that's really a good one to get. Maybe some Olbermann next. 
But I mean, no, you know, I'm thinking now, I now we're, we're down to mad cow actually go cross eyed and literally give me like a derp and then fucking drop. They, they can't glitch her out right now. Too many Demo Democrats listen to her. You know what I mean? I'm like if she were to she do like, Mitch McConnell or something, people would be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought she retired I, I, I want to hear a million like, dollar salary that she was making. Work. No, she just cut her working hours in half. Oh my her God. salary stayed the same. She just worked less. That'll she wants me family me time. Part is Texas Slim <laughs> talking about beef and Amarillo. I'm telling you, son. Swing. Well, that's another thing that disappoints me about Massey. As he was going to try to get something fucking on a bill to get to work with fucking... To work with uh, Texas Slim, he hasn't done shit, dude. No, and he's not, not one gonna. fucking thing. I mean, and he's not gonna exactly. It's called I lip service. He, I thought uh, he was lip sponsoring. service. And, See, and that's, that's if y'all you're getting thing. a lip service, just insert Oregon. There even, you go. Look, <laughs> even, even if he were, let's let's again, go, let's go hypothetical here, right? Let's go into speculative territory because everybody fucking loves that. Even if he were to get a bill written, right, got it out of committee and got it onto the floor of the Congress, it would go fucking nowhere. It would eventually end up getting shelved and it would sit there and fucking rot and never see the light of day again. It doesn't fucking matter if they don't want it. It's not going to it's not even going to get heard. That's that's just the simple truth of the matter. Maybe I upset Tom. I'm not sure. Yeah, you got enough of your shit. I <laughs> sure. <Yeah>. Where's <laughs> the gear stuff, man? Hashtag lip service. Oh Oregon shit! Service. I upset Bin Laden too. Oh my god. Oh, here's Tom. All right. They're, they'll come crawl. <laughs> they came crawling back. <laughs> Hopefully they come back in order so I don't have to rearrange the tag. So that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. exactly. I don't know. I was I was uh, I was talking to somebody on he, uh he, he I don't fake know if rage you guys got kicked you. off or not, but I was I was talking to somebody else on Streamlabs the other day and and they got kicked off. And it was like right when we had gotten to like a really juicy point of the conversation that we were having. And I was like, God damn it, they are fucking listening. Yeah, they are. Well, well for, me, I for that now. I think it's because of the I, version of Windows I have. The cams all freeze up on me. Uh, you know, I asked my I asked my girlfriend earlier how many how long it would take to burn six million bodies, and my uh, Apple iPhone Siri came up and started talking to me and uh, giving me a bunch of Holocaust information. It's like I Rob. didn't ask that. Next time you have a chance, ask Siri where Joe Biden fell down on his bike and see what answer you get. Are they trying to memory hold out? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, Siri, where did Joe Biden fall down on his bike? This is live, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and so by the way... The comment there. Uh, Cape Henlope State Park. Sperman, book a big appointment. Beach home in Use Delaware. your daily planner. Where did he fall? Is that it? That sounds right. I, they don't mind him. So there was a lady. Uh, uh -oh. who, I don't know how, how long ago it was. It was when I was still on Twitter. Um, she asked <laughs> that question, while. and basically Siri came back and said that he was dead, and uh, died in Podesta here? Hospital. Oh wow, that'd be a horrible place to die. Ooh, you know okay. what? You know what they do to you at pedestrian. Now I can hear again. Yeah. Again, you wake up with your butthole open and smoking like a <laughs> gun then, barrel. And then my father-in-law asked <laughs> window. I think it's Windows. He has Windows, one of those little things you talk to, and uh, he asked the same question and it, it didn't answer. It didn't answer. Yeah, he, he did. it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Huh. Did so they they might have changed it since that's the one thing I miss about being on Twitter is being able to troll Thomas Massey because I trolled the fuck out of that motherfucker. 
<laughs> I do when I see his post. Yeah, every chance I got, dude. And and Randy from uh, Soundwave fucking was trolling the fuck out of him too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know what the problem is with some people that are like, he's one of the good politicians. They miss the whole point of it. Even the best of the politicians is still a fucking politician. That's right. What do you not understand? Right. His his origin story is much better than all the other freaking paid clowns because he lives on an off grid house that he built, you know, with shit from his own property. Wow. And I don't know that he did the whole thing In himself. Fact, but uh, a month ago, when I totaled my car into the conga line of Clydesdale Deer at the Lewis County line, I was about four miles from his house. I literally could have just walked up to his house. And you should down, have, but uh, he's gay, and I bet you I'm not. Lend- so. <laughs> I need a, I need a fact that check been on awkward, that one, you know. I mean, it would be dicks and no bitch. You're in some serious me. shit. Am I right, Biggie? I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard that one myself yet. Uh, he did have the wife that that died uh, suddenly, recently. Suddenly, yeah. That's and right. did do an autopsy. Oh no, wow! Autopsy. She had a fast acting turbo cancer after. Uh, Criticizing Apex control over. Well, I heard the fast acting turbo cancer was actually false. Oh, I don't remember she where. She had a lengthy, a lengthy disease. That's what he said. Mm. He said she had had a lengthy disease. That was his words. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it either. It's a lot of I, fake. I mean, it it could be, but mm, the timing is questionable yes sir you know 100%. i never would have thought of tom massey as the joe scarborough of kentucky but i guess he's moved up in weight class he's not welterweight anymore no, he's, not, note, he's not working with interns anymore and that that's I mean, why they team... always weigh the boxers before the match drizzle there's reason there's rules to the game son does he vote yay or nay on the bills to fund uh ukraine israel and all the other places well, of course he's going to vote no the bills are going to pass anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter. What's he? A, he's a he's a sleeper now, agent. I mean, Ron Paul. You know, say what you want. That guy had some principle, and uh, he always voted no. But I wouldn't say that he was corrupt until he had that massive heart attack. That was the warning. Shut your fucking face or we'll make it happen for real. <laughs> Could have been. We'll push that Poor fucking Ron button Paul. again. Eek. Activate your graphene array. <laughs> that guy went on the Morton Downey Jr. show. He's got balls. Yeah, he does. Hey, Morton Downey <laughs> Jr. back in the day was the shit. Yeah, dude. he was. <laughs> oh, he was such I, a I freaking like, asshole. I like to think I emulate yeah, some asshole. of his best qualities. Well, I can't remember some of the classics, but I did used to watch that when I was little because it was just like it was the only thing at its time, you know. Yeah, no, I used to watch it. Circle. But if you if you like go back and like listen to the shit, like his his horrible arguments, like he would always bring on like the you know somebody I'm who he would just shout at and be like, "You're the worst thing that ever existed," you know. Yeah, but you listen to it as a fucking adult with some like experience. It's like listen to this fucking douchebag. It's the the walking fucking fallacy. Oh god, it's almost time for work. <laughs> oh good lord, that's right. You actually have to work. I forgot about that. Been having a good time. Yeah. Thank you all for that. Definitely welcome, needed. Dude. I'm on, having uh, a good time too. <laughs> this Halloween week in COVID land. Speaking of, did you see that uh, our our fantastic president, uh, Joseph Robinette Biden the third, I think, uh, he tried to eat children at the White House Halloween I, event. I saw that. Yeah. Oh. And then he and then he pardoned the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> did he pardon the Great Pumpkin? Probably. I know. I know. Jill was. Uh, Jill was dressed up as a panda bear. I thought that was very classy. Are you fucking kidding me? Nope. She should have been have dressed not, up as did, a babysitter. Have you not seen any of the pictures, Coop? No, oh I. I don't. Wow. I don't really. They had so they had a um, 
uh, decoration on, I don't know which lawn it was of the White House, but on the two center pillars of this particular portico, they had what appeared to be trees that were going up the pillars. But if you look at the very top where the pillars meet the ceiling and where the branches of the trees were coming out, you could see that there was a triangle that was being made by the bottom of the portico and two branches of the two trees representing the two pillars of Freemasonry and, of course, the capstone on the top there. Yeah, well, Jill was representing the fucking pedos. Yes, she was. And it was right in everybody's face. Yep. 100 fucking percent, Driz. And her husband was trying to eat children. That's... That goes with the whole shebang. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, it is, it is again, it's that time of year, you know? Yeah, it is. Dude, we have sick fucking people running this fucking country or running this country. Honestly, they're really just providing the entertainment. That's all. Well, you know what I mean? It's the greatest show on earth. Experiment for the children. It was Halloween. Well, what do you think Christmas is? Did you guys see any uh, bizarre happening? Fucking eating fucking kids that were bad. I don't, I don't <laughs> think they're going to let us have Christmas this year. What did you, you say, don't think Rob? So? No. I said, did you guys see anything interesting on Halloween or leading up to it? I didn't. No. I, I've learned long I, ago, I, stay, stay away from Halloween shit. Especially I, I went out and got a a burger at a local bar last night and stumbled into an old folks uh, Halloween party. And it was pretty, pretty terrifying watching old people dance to Michael Jackson thriller. And uh, well, Hey, at least they were having a good time. Yeah. (laughs) Hell yeah. I imagine still, still was a bit scary, but yeah, it was cool. (laughs) Gotta keep moving. Right. I I took my kid trick or treating last night. Oh, yeah. And everybody out there was so nice. Just super nice. Oh. And I, I thought, wow, you know, if uh, if I'd stayed home and watched TV instead, I'd, I'd think everybody hates each other. You should right? have uh, you should have worn a Trump for president shirt halfway through and then switched to a Kamala the other half through and saw what kind of disgusted looks and, you yeah. know, them them right. like throwing shit in your kid's bag rather than just placing it in there. <laughs> Could have been interesting. Yeah, my lawn. <laughs> You're right. We don't get a lot of kids here at my house, dude. So like when we buy candy, we probably had well, I don't know. We had more this year than we do normally because we ran out of candy. You but dude, when they come when the kids come to the door, I'm like, dude, just take a handful because I know we're gonna have candy left over. We didn't have candy left over this year. <laughs> <laughs> where you had some really heavy-handed kids. <laughs> yeah. And, that, and that's fine, dude. You know what I mean? Like, Brother, I haven't had, a, um, I haven't had have, a trick-or-treater have here you ever in over seen 20 Dragon years. Ball, Dragon Ball Z? Maybe oh, yeah. No. Because you, you actually look like Master Roshi. And I don't mean anything like an offensive way. You look like Master Roshi all the time. Like Halloween is your day, man. You just need like the little pieces <laughs> of the costume, oh God, and you win every contest. Mm-hmm. You know, the funny Roshi. thing is, um, RBL. I actually have a song. It, it doesn't he's talk about, sense, but he's talking about Tom. I think called yeah. Master Roshi Dragon. I've Ball. heard that before, but I'm not familiar it, with it. So it's like an uncanny resemblance. <laughs> to a really cool character from the Dragon Ball. Uh, I mean, I, I I know Dragon Ball, but I've never like never watched it or anything. Let me see if I can find that video. Uh, Dragon Balls. I always <laughs> thought that was funny. Yeah, kids are playing yep. with their balls. I've got it. All right, let me cue it up. Hang on. Oh, good Lord. It's a very short song, about two minutes long. Yeah. Incredibly short. There you go. Yoda song. Master, Master Roshi. <laughs> Master Roshi <laughs> Balls <laughs> Deep King Kai <laughs> remix. Some of that ghost, ghost story. Give me a few more years. I look just like that. 
<laughs> you there, bro? <laughs> oh, that's funny. RBL, if you ever want to come on Saturday Night Anarchy, man, just let us know. Sure. Yeah, um, I'll have to check it out so I know what what's the, the rules are. And stuff. There are no rules. There brother. are no <laughs> rules, dude. It's anarchy. <laughs> yeah. um, oh. I'm expecting to get bitched out tomorrow night. So For what? Might be worth tuning in for. I, I don't know. So who's we'll I got to queue up. We'll Leader see. of anarchy. All right, so um, this is uh, the guy we're talking about here, uh, RBL and I. This is the one and only Master Roshi. <laughs> a little bit. He's got the, my the eyebrows to get a little more white. The dome. <laughs> He's got the beard. My man. I'm working on it. Mine's going white. All right, so uh, you ready to uh, – I'll go ahead and let it rip here, uh, Driz. You ready for some Master Roshi? Yeah, it's up there. Blammo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see the results. Yeah, that's <laughs> Come on, man. Come on now. Lies, dude.
it. Now we can stop sharing. Fuck you, Shit. commercial. How you like me now? <laughs> Blammo. Someone's here. Blammo. Totally mm. cock blocked on that ad. You see what I did there? You know that's music video. Okay. Extreme internet oh. content. Because I that's... love it when an ad jumps in the middle of a song. That oh. song still had ten more seconds to fade, but that's okay. fine. You that's just got the, copyright strikes. <laughs> that's the one and only thing I like about Rockfin, dude, is they don't do any of that shit. It's probably yes, why they're having they a lot of things. I was trying they to watch Tony like Arterburn up, yesterday. Update their app. Every fucking like six minutes, a fucking goddamn ad popped up. Yeah. Oh, on Rumble? That's so annoying. Yeah. Dude. Oh, it's, oh it's my God. That aggravates the fuck out of me. Like if I can if I can Keep find your... something any place else I will. Yeah, yeah. You know, well I I went Donald over to Rockfin to watch cash. it, but he didn't have it posted, so Trump still needs cash for his campaign, even though the votes are going to be counted in a couple yeah. Of days. Yeah, well, he's probably on election day. You'll you'll get a text message from him. Hey, Rob, I know we've been asking a lot this year, but we really mean it this time. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just really trying to we're trying time. to get over the hump today. Come on, can you help us out with <laughs> like fifty bucks? Come on, right? Or you can yeah. send him money and get a fucking gold bar with fucking Trump's fake and face or head on it and shit have you guys seen that one yet no but I, I might <laughs> yeah. actually do that oh that shit's all over gab dude is it really well uh oh, gab, gab, is RBL RBL gab, gab, gab is a fucking hateful fucking site dude is that it's racist as tonight? fuck R- rumble's Rick, pretty it, hateful too yeah well you I, know I, I, is it all bots gab, but my initial knee-jerk reaction to hearing that news is if Gab is a site for, like, uh, the the right or patriots or whatever the fuck, then of course it's going to be full of bots that are saying like Zig Heil, bloody blah, blah, or yeah. whatever the fuck. Not oh, dude, we there's I've seen YouTube. some I'm racist sorry, shit on there, I and they not think when I speak. Like they did, they're fucking Jew haters like a son bitch in that in Gab, dude. That's like bit shoot though, right? The comment section's full of all that, but I think it's mm-hmm. just bots to discredit all the good I, it's information. Possible. That, I, that's know. what I suspect. Like you go into Rumble videos if you're on like a live stream, you'll see those assholes jump in the chat just like every now and then insult insulting people for no reason and you know, just being assholes. Well they I mean, changed, it could be just they changed their internet trolling too. But, like every now oh, you and mean then, like it's last like, weekend. You gotta go watch this video now. This is more important than whatever you're doing. You know, oh, yeah. it, it's funny um, what RBL and Drizzle just said because I ended up making this remix of a shit song and made like a shitty remix of it, but the song's called Street Shitta, you know, um, and it has actual footage of street shitters. Um, but, you know, I, it's something that my guitarist, Dead Fella, sent to me, and I thought the song had potential, but. I didn't really want to post it on my Rumble. Real guitarist, by the way. He has a recording contract. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to post it on my Odyssey. I'm like, fuck, where do I hide this stupid shit? Bit shoot. There you go. I'll just hide it on bit shoot, you know? Nobody, and then nobody will ever, will ever it see it. But Who's you know what? From... Guess what? No, I've we do actually we up. have about fifty people uh per broadcast tuning in on uh, on bit shoot. That's pretty nice. So who's funding BitChute well, these uh, days? Well, I have like an ode back. to BitChute, the Mud Butt remix oh, no. at three minutes. Come on now. You're going to subject me to that at this hour? Fuck you, Yona. Oh, well, we can play <laughs> out. We can w- let it wait for the end. We can lay that turd right on the on the nose. We can <laughs> put that shit wherever you want it and just yeah. leave it that's, steaming. That's more that's more wrap up music, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> we should save that I think for, so. for the end when Rob has to dip out. Yeah, I yeah. think that's what, what we should do. I mean, it, it, it's best Good when you're dipping everybody. out to deuce and you know deuce and bail, right? Yeah. Like, hey, before I hit the road, I'm gonna go um bomb your fucking bathroom, and then I'll bail. Or better yet, I'll. Bail I love that shit, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> Sneak up the house before you leave. Yeah, <laughs> I'm making coffee. Yeah, hey, yeah you want coffee before I go. Good job. Well, well, time I open this door, everybody's gonna be coughing. There you go. Right. 
<laughs> Yo, is that a wooden Fu Manchu pipe you got going on there? Yeah, it's a it's a Holy three piece. Fuck. Oh, it's nice. Fu Manchu, great band. Fuck yeah. Looks Have cool. you all heard the suggestion from RBL that Cooper looks like Roshi, and then you saw the actual Roshi, you know, busting out the fucking shirt with the goddamn surfer muscles there, you know. What do you think? <laughs> and the glasses, it's, it's all there, ain't it, RBL? He's got the glasses, the whole thing. It's, it's all there. Even I, look at the fucking... The, the outfit, I was going to... I was going to... I was going to grab a... Dude. A picture of the uh, Mutant Ninja Turtles Master Splinter and put it up next to you, Yona. See if there's a resemblance. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, See, I know of, that he's reference. He's got the beard thing going. Well, you know, I, I've added more turtles. There, there's other turtles. Now, there's Cassius and Dante and a couple others. And they eat the weird pizza like, like our friends in Bluffdale. Cauliflower oh, crust. The cauliflower crust. Oh, yeah. And, and and a guacamole the with for the people? fucking sauce. And then the toppings are uh pineapples and mushrooms. That's a little weird. With feta cheese. I know, just uh, that does doesn't even sound like pizza, dude. Oh, that's not pizza anymore. I, I see I'm, I'm trying to explain to people about this National Data Center off Interstate 15 in Camp Williams, and nobody gets their strange taste in pizza. Yeah. But I do, because, you know, otherwise there'll be more fucking gambling shit on our website, and we don't offer gambling services. That's not in the boutique, and nor should it ever be. Hey, did you guys know you can now gamble on the fucking elections? I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw this one of the saddest fucking things ever. A, a person who was such a bad compulsive gambler that they were in some like fucking shack like convenience store with one slot machine with her fucking kid in a stroller sitting next to her as she slot jockeyed. <laughs> it's just like, what in the fuck? Ex tweaker. Nevada. Mm. It's a weird place. Well, I, she, I cannot she believe win? that I found that video <laughs> of the Master Roshi song. It's just like three years her, old. Her kid was the real winner. <laughs> right? <laughs> Long time. So did y'all hear than, that uh, they... Better uh, than the place yeah. while your kid's at home. Yeah. Did y'all hear that they postponed the, uh, the Department of Homeland Security exercise? Oh, are you sure? They were supposed oh, to yeah. take they, yeah, they were going to have an exorcism on, 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 the, on election day. Yeah. On election day. They thought that was in bad taste for some reason. I don't, I don't well, know. Well, some it. people died last night for sure. Devil's night. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. But in, uh, I'm sure died. they held black blood sacrifice. In, and what, what, Orlando? Orlando? No, you know, here's the thing yeah, about Satan, Tom. He demands sacrifice. Yeah doesn't ask nicely it's a demand that mm -hmm. must be met yes sir and so blood must be spilled because how are you going to have kid fucking without blood sucking they go hand yes. in hand yeah well you need a it's rabbi like for that. Some oil cute little specifically snail spoons you know <laughs> les accoutrements monsieur uh, we're not gonna great now so, you're, you're gonna get the trolls on bit shoot fired up rob I know, hmm. right? I, I mean, how you know? What do you think it was like the first time one of those moils who participates in those ceremonies watched the guy who was training him? He's like, "You're not fucking serious, right?" <laughs> of Did you guys ever? There was a um. This is probably about ten years ago or so. But there was a banker who uh, he didn't speak any English, so he was some from Europe, some probably Germany or something like that. I don't. I'm not really sure. But uh, he fucking came to the United States and basically fronted off the bankers and told everybody how it worked. And uh, like he was a low level guy at first. And, you know, he was like pissed off because he wasn't making, you know, he wanted to make more money and shit. And people were coming up to him. Hey, you want to make more money? And he was like, yeah, I do. Well, you got to do this. You know what I mean? And basically it got to the point where they wanted him to sacrifice a child in order for him to move up higher on the ladder in the bank in the banking industry and he says that he he didn't he couldn't like that was 
you know, like he said, uh, basically there was him and, and three other guys that ruined like this one guy's company and uh, the so dude ended up killing himself and left his wife and kids behind, you know? And so what he said is fucking kids wasn't off the table, but when they had to kill the kid, he fucking I, was I, across the line. He yeah. recoiled. Yeah. <laughs> so then he came to the United States and basically told everybody here in the United States that what the bankers were doing. And not too long after that, he ended up dead. They found supposedly found his body floating in the Potomac river. But well, I mean, they find a lot of bodies in the Potomac. <laughs> I, yeah, well, I also about. found out that the dude might have faked his own death. Mm -hmm. So I can see that happening. Yeah, they are definitely sacrificing our children, dude. That's what happens to them when when they can't find yeah. them anymore. When well, you can't be just merely trusted with a certain amount of power, you have to you have to be. Uh, they have to have blackmail on you. So yeah. devastating. Oh yeah. Well, when you yeah. when you see when you see like the Franklin scandal stuff that you can corroborate what happened there, it's just like speaking that's of crazy. Their pipeline of children to politicians in Washington and who's running it and what, I've actually I've been thinking about uh, for, like, seeing if oh, I can get Nick Ryan on for an interview. <laughs> that would I be, thought that, that might be, be interesting. One. Yeah. Because I mean, I listen. I listen to his podcast fairly often. He has some uh, some interesting guests on, to say the least. He had. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with. I'm not going to be able to remember her name, so I'm going to have to look it up. I don't think he put one out today. Uh, Juliet Engel. Who is a survivor of the um, MK Ultra program? One of them. Are you guys There's familiar with her? What did you say her name was? Juliet Engel. She's a. Um, I think she's a medical doctor now, if I'm not mistaken. She actually went and she's. Um, can't remember exactly what field of medicine she's an expert in, but she went to Russia and uh, did a whole bunch of work. Uh, in the in the field of medicine there uh, as opposed to doing it here in the United States but uh, in her younger life she was uh, one of the children that they would compartmentalize psychologically through ritual abuse uh, so that, that they could be couriers for information and or serve as playthings or you know whatever function it is that they were needed to perform at that time Honey and she's actually she's band. written she's written at least one book if not more um, surviving sex magic i yeah. i read uh john DeCamp's book the guy who was actually the lawyer in the case and uh yeah i haven't i haven't read nick bryant i haven't read it, i haven't read his book yet either but i'm i'm familiar with the story like i say he's he's interesting enough to for me to listen to like if i if i were to ask him specific questions i obviously i would want to get the book and at least read through some of it first before talking to him but um he's he his mind seems to work a little bit differently from your average investigative researcher like he's he's not uh he's not going to shy away from something just because it seems like it's it's going to be difficult to track down. Who is this again? Uh, his name is Nick Bryant. He wrote okay. a book on uh, the Franklin scandal. <laughs> you know, the, yeah. whole, the whole boys town. Yeah, well, he went after the old Oracle, uh, uh, the orifice of, uh, yeah, the orifice of Omaha, yeah. Warren Buffett. They, he wasn't really mentioned in John DeCamp's book. Other than that, he was a prominent businessman. They didn't make any connections to him. Maybe Nick Bryant did, but it was uh, Boys a town. Pretty, Hello. pretty high up scandal. I mean, the people in the oh, Republican yeah. National Committee oh. were all involved in it. Dude, I mean, who was, from, was Bush was Bush involved was in it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, the, and imagine the only person who went to jail was that black dude. Yeah. The banker well, was, in yeah. Omaha. 
Yep. No, he was the only guy. He was the fall guy. No, the, there was three kids who were and all independently corroborated. They weren't like part of like they all separately right. had said the same exact story what happened to them, and they threatened them with perjury. And two of them like recanted because they didn't want to go to jail. And the one girl who didn't recant got a fucking twenty year prison sentence for perjury. Well, you guys know the Johnny Gosh story, right? Refresh my memory. I've heard of that. Okay, so tough. Johnny Gosh was the first person that was on the back of a fucking milk carton. Yeah, he got uh, abducted. He was abducted, yeah. But his mom spent most of her life looking for this kid, for her son, right? Finally found. And uh, she looked everywhere and everywhere and everywhere. And finally, it got to the point where he showed up to her house one day and told her to stop looking for me. Or you're, or, you, or they're gonna kill me. Yeah. And mm, oh, uh, wow. he was even seen on NBC at one time uh -huh. under a different fucking name. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Johnny Gosh was like recruiting children. They were using him as like he would be that like would a recruiter, sense. but also like probably take care of the try to take care of the kids a little bit. You know, because well, I mean? like, that that also falls in line with what Epstein's girls were known to do. They yes. were active recruiters. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's kind of in your face every time you go shopping at Walmart because they've got a whole <laughs> wall of, you know, cute pictures of kids and, and all these other people that mm -hmm. have like. That have been abducted or missing, or if you see these people say something, you know, like there's like a whole wall, and like, well, at least all the ones around here, you know. I mean, it wouldn't. None of this would surprise me at all. I I think. I. I, I, I Aren't they saying think Wayfair back, was uh, shipping kids around the country? Yeah. But there, I mean, yeah. Was there anything very like? Was there anything solid on that, or was that? More they like literally a, had like I've seen a some of the listings thousand dollar piece of furniture with a little girl's name on it for seventeen thousand right. dollars. I, I did I did see that, but was right. it real? <laughs> I did you know, there there is that. one thing I I do always try to mention whenever the subject comes up, and that is um uh it's not quite to the extent of like uh, well, it's not in the same vein, but it there is the same enthusiasm now, I think, but, you know, when comparing like the American Indian movement and this movement for uh, missing and murdered, murdered and missing indigenous women and children, because I mean, it's such a, the numbers are so staggering, because when you look at Indian country, it's parceled out and it's split up into so many different <coughs> states, you know, the reservation system and and it, it all comes down to the jurisdictional games that are played where, you know, only marshal service can really investigate it because if it's a non-tribal member doing that to a tribal member, well, a tribal member is now like a ward of the state, not a full citizen. That's why you get quote unquote benefits because you're basically like, uh, you know, think of like if you got an Indian card, you're basically like Britney Spears. But your dad is like running all your affairs because conservatorship and stuff. And, and, you know, it gets to the point where you're like, free Yona. Let Yona spend his own money, you know. Yona, hopefully what's, the life, what's, the life expect, what's the life expectancy for a, a Native American male living on a reservation? Under 60. 46 years old. Yeah, under 50. Even lower well, for women. Yeah, well, they, that, that's because of the they food. Them? Sugar water food, and man. GMO corn or terrible something? Food. Well, it's always been terrible. Dude, you know how many women are being fucking... But the trafficking away? of people, you know, that that's why I brought up MMIW, because of the traffic. I mean, it, the, the numbers are just... That tells you that it's a, a coordinated, well... Well oiled machine. Yes, sir. There was I can't remember the Maybe name of it, but there was a reservation out in California that they were doing like drug trafficking and it was in the uh that book Chaos about Charles well, yeah, Manson. Yeah, it was, and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, oh yeah. shit, that was all over California, man. Uh fucking Wacken Hut was running their entire operation off of yeah, that's the reservation. It was. Yeah. Been there a couple Hunt times. Yeah. And uh like the dude who was originally running it was like you know, selling untaxed cigarettes. Was Chick, like I used to, start. um, 
chick I used to date in, uh, well, she was in high school. I was just out of high school at the time. Yeah. I could swear yeah. her mother used to get catalogs from Whack and Hut. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's not just a prison system. Oh, no. It's, yeah, they're into a lot of shit. Yeah. yeah. Whack and Hut yeah. had a lot of cool tchotchkes. Retail yeah. catalog, weapon systems, prison systems, all, all sorts of Human shit. Human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, the regulars. <laughs> well, you know, speaking of California, by the way, um, if you happen to be walking the streets of San Francisco and many other cities in the United States now, Yona Pro Tip, look down where brown can be found because uh, you don't want to get that shit on your sneakers. I mean, oh, shit. <laughs> last time I yeah. stepped in human excrement on the sidewalk, I was wearing my Air Force Ones, but luckily I followed Nellie's advice and I had a second yeah, pair back at home. Um, <clears throat> y'all, y'all ready to say that? The, oh my goodness, where is it? Y'all Stop ready to send off the street show? Bag. Y'all Go ready to it. lay a big steaming turd <laughs> on the sidewalk? Yeah. <laughs> This is only on BitChute, folks. You, you'll oh. have to go to BitChute and suffer the ads down there to, to watch. How do you it. say human in Spanish? Humano. There you go. That's what I thought. So it would be Mierda del Humano. Humano. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Drop or in this case, this is um, Mierda del Calle, street shitter. <laughs> Mierda del Calle. Watch your step. All right, so watch your feet. You're going to want to watch your feet anyway. All right. Jizz if he wants his skin to be better. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why the fuck I made that. That beat is infectious. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the nightmares, Jonah. 
You guys have a great night. I gotta go to work. <laughs> have fun, Rob. <laughs> yeah, that did slap indeed. My oh my, poor Rob has to go to work at fucking midnight on the East Coast. Well, that sucks. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's great. What does he do for work? He's uh, he works in IT. Oh, okay, gotcha. And he's uh, he's in a supervisory position. Uh, he's actually he's he's got a pretty sweet gig for what he's doing. Nice, but I'm not going to dox him. So. Yeah. Oh well, shit! It is midnight. No wonder. Uh, no wonder Rob had to go. Well, uh, that that means that's it for us too, ladies and gentlemen. The next time that you see us, selection apocalypse will be upon us. God help us all. All right, so I'm going to send you a message, brother. Find out more. Fuck around. <laughs>